All right, guys, this is what we're up to today. Pouring this little pole barn, 12 by 30 pole barn. I prepped it with my little bobcat, my little track bobcat. Little digger that I bought. So we gotta pour this inside of here. And then we got this apron, we're gonna do an apron. It's supposed to rain today, so we built this plastic enclosure thing. We're gonna set this plastic up, like make a tent up here. That's what we're doing today. So it's supposed to rain here in about an hour. We're hoping to get this in. We're gonna use the track buggy. Got the track buggy. We're gonna use that today to do the back and then we'll pull the truck in after that. After we get about half done, we'll pull the truck in. Waiting on the truck. What do you think, Pat? Words of wisdom? Waiting on the truck. Get her done. Waiting on Northern. Hmm? I will. Won't you be flipping my camera out? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you never know if it's on or not. Fucker's just video us the whole time. A sneak attack. I'm gonna get the truck pulling in. If he ever makes yeah, it. <laughs> right in front of the truck. This is the whole time. truck right there. I'll just add it. Add it. Add it. Put a bottle fire. All the guy on the lawnmower. Get the lawnmower coming in. Too. Here comes the lawnmower. <laughs> we chase the truck down with the lawnmower. Here it comes. Oh. Yeah, we found the truck with the lawnmower guy. Come on, here he comes. Oh. <laughs> That's how you chase the cement truck down right there. Oh shit, we got a conveyor. <laughs> Rear loader truck. Oh boy. Hey guys, Bondo here. Today we're pouring this 12 by 30 little pole barn. I think uh, the customer was going to store his RV in here. It's kind of a little tall building. with uh, He wanted some concrete in there. I had to dig this thing out with my little bobcat as I showed you in the picture. Um, that, was, that was kind of a pain because I had to take the dirt a long ways. And I don't have a platform to stand on that thing yet. But anyways, here we are. We're going to pour this thing out. We're gonna. Use, I was gonna use a track buggy for half of it, and then pull the truck in. But I, we just kept using the track buggy. It was just as easy. Once we got rolling on this thing, we just kept going. Um, I got a couple new guys here working with me, um, Nick and Trevor. And uh, Trevor, he's done concrete before, but Nick's pretty new at it. So I got Nick. He he's hooking the wire up. We got these special hooks that we use to pull wire up into the concrete. So Nick's pretty much doing that. And, I'm trying to teach him how to rake and stuff, how to puddle. I call rake and puddle and use your come along to pull the concrete around level. So that's pretty much Nick's in the white shirt. That's me in the orange shirt. Pat's on the track buggy. Frank's over there puddling. Frank's worked with me a lot. He just hasn't in the last year or so. We're on different teams now. So um, just getting this little job done. Like I said, I was calling for rain that day so 
we got there pretty early. The concrete was supposed to be there at 7. It ended up getting there at 7.30. So we built a little tent thing out of plastic. I just brought some 1x3s with me. And uh, I knew we had to pour this apron because the customer wanted a, a 4-foot apron. And normally on a full-size building, we'll do the apron separate. Just so there's not a, um, you know, there'll be a, a cold joint between the two. So they move separate. Because with the freeze thaws, we live in upstate New York, and with the freeze and thaw cycles we get, we don't usually hook the apron up to the inside. So I end up just, as you'll see later in the video, I put a hand groove right in the doorway, and then um, me and my girlfriend come back, and we cut the floor, and we end up cutting right in that hand groove line, so it worked pretty good. So if you stayed at the end of the video, um, my girlfriend Chrissy helped me wash this thing off. And, um, we cut it, she ended up spraying water on it so it wasn't too dusty. But we just pulled this off, this little guy off by hand. We used a 12 foot screed stick and pulled it off by hand. Um, I didn't want to splatter too much in there with my power screed so I didn't end up using it. But this building is 12 foot wide so we had to kind of angle the, the screed board. Because all I didn't, I don't have a 10 foot screed board, I got a 12 and an 8. So the 8 was kind of small and the 12 was just a little bit too long. So. We just angled it down through here and me and Pat were uh, pulling it off and uh, I think Frank and uh, Trevor were were uh, leveling it off or um, puddling behind us. So it didn't go too bad. It uh, The rain pretty much held out for us until we got, we just about got the um, apron done and it started raining so it worked out pretty good. We were able to cover it up so you know just if you ever got to pour something like this in the rain and you want to get it done it's not a bad way to do it actually that plastic tarp thing that we made kept the rain right off at night so it didn't uh, didn't get in there and ruin the concrete on us or nothing and that was huge because we were able to get this job done because it's been hard to get concrete this year um, everybody's just doing so much concrete work the concrete companies are real busy so we've had trouble getting concrete so it was, this was a Saturday we ended up pouring this on a Saturday and uh, it wasn't too hard to get concrete that day um, because we because of the rain a lot of people had canceled so we ended up getting this concrete through um, Roselli Northern which I haven't used that company in a while but um, the other companies were still even though it was a rain day were were booked up pretty much we poured an apron the day before this and we used Vitale concrete um, Northern con got nice concrete it's a uh, got a lot of cement in it and it finishes nice so I don't mind their concrete but uh just at this point right now it's just pretty much trying to get concrete from whoever I can get it for, from there's really only three concrete operations around me that are, that I want to use so anyways here we are we're just finishing up pulling this thing straight edging it out the door me and Pat and uh, there's Frank he's gonna get some more concrete in the buggy and uh, we got to put this screed board or this uh, apron board on there after he dumps a little in there. We left the, the apron board off right there so that we could drive in this thing. But right now we're going we're gonna to have to dig it out. As soon as we get this filled in, we're going to dig it out and put that board in there and then finish the pour. That's what we're going to do here in a minute. Right here, we're actually just digging the stone out. I left the stone a little thick there. And just that's a two by six rough cut two by six board and we just screwed it in there put some stakes in it and uh the way we went poured the apron so guys if this is your first time on my channel my name's ron bond everybody calls me bondo um, i have a construction company called bondo built construction we do a ton of concrete work uh, flat work stamp creed. we build new dura foundations in the winter time, I, I have some rental properties and I end up buying like houses that need a lot of work and I fix them up in the winter. So I do videos on that kind of stuff too. I'll do like insulation videos, um, blown cellulose insulation videos, and a little drywall and just a lot of good home improvement stuff. So if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, why don't you think about hitting that subscribe button. Um, we, I'm putting out at least two videos a week now. I don't have a designated day that I put it out but I try to get two to three videos done every week so I've got 
well over 100 videos now. I've been doing it a little over a year. So I, I like this YouTube platform. And uh, if you like this video, hit the smash that like button for me. And throw me a comment. You know, just let me know if you like the video or you don't like the video. Get some, uh, you got any questions, hit, hit me up on there for some questions. YouTube loves that when, when you guys uh, message me back and forth. It, it'll help rank my videos higher and I'll be able to reach more people. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Watch it to the end. My girlfriend, Chrissy's uh, helping me wash this thing up. So I picked on her a little bit. She doesn't get out there much to help me. So I snuck her out on it. We actually went over on a Sunday and cut this thing. Thanks again. Alright guys, we got caught in the rain today. We built a little tent. So we poured this apron along with the floor. So we've already we knee boarded the, the floor. We hit it once with the power trowel. So this section here is gonna get a broom finish. It's just about ready. We put a groove down between here because that's gonna crack. So we hand groove that. Come out pretty good. So I'm gonna just try to broom this real quick and not get inside of there because that's going to be the hard trowel finish and we're just going to broom this right across that's what we're going to do here
All right, guys, got the door or the got the garage done. Pole barn, little pole barn. That's what she looks like. We burned it in. Not real slippery. There's the apron. I'll come back tomorrow and cut that groove where we grooved it. I've never done that before. I poured the apron at the same time. Put a we tooled a groove in there so that thing won't crack overnight. I don't have a saw cut saw to cut it with, but I'll probably cut it at that post and that post across, but it turned out good. We worked around the rain, built a tent. Probably seen in the video. That tent saved us. Now it's clear skies. Looks good out now. A little cloudy, but see you on the next one. Look up. Look up at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how we cut lines in a floor. I don't have a soft cut saw. So we poured this yesterday. We come back, snapped a couple lines. I just run a 2x, usually like a 2x6 or 2x8 across it and I run the target saw right down the edge of it. It gives you a nice straight cut. This this cut is very straight. That, that board will actually help you a lot. Keep your blade straight. That's how we do it. Chris is washing it off. We saw cut this apron right off as deep as I could. Which we just videoed, but that's what I was doing, cutting this. We poured the apron the same time as the floor. So I grooved it with a hand groover, what left that nice line, and then I just come back and sawed it as deep as I can get with that saw. So I'm gonna say that saw cut maybe five inches. So it should be good because that's gonna wanna snap off of there, that apron. I usually pour aprons separate, but with this little building, it wasn't worth it. We wanted to get it done, so that's how we did it. Clean it up, Chrissy. Trying. Get it clean. <laughs> You're a hoser. <laughs> Chrissy's a hoser. Here's those lines. Guys and girls, they're pretty straight. If you use that board, you can get a really, really straight line. Next best thing, obviously, is a soft cut, early entry saw, but they're like two grand. So, if you got a target saw, you can make a pretty nice cut with the board, just like that. See you on the next video. Ando out. <laughs>